What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jared, and y'all. Today we're gonna be doing a video review on the uh, on a video from the More to Life channel. Shout out to Jay from the Black Filipino TV. Now, this one's gonna be about Brazilians saying why they love dating American men and this is unique because I haven't seen a video from Brazilianas speaking upon this so this is quite unique and to all those um, ladies that feel that brothers need to bring their ass back to the black community this is who y'all are competing with and you can't get mad at what brothers are, are going to do after they see this. So watch this. These guys right here, this is this says Brazilian women love dating American men. And you know why I got so excited here? I seen I seen the cover of this. I said, these are two passport bros right here. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Oh, Brian asked us if we have better experiences dating foreigners or locals. For sure, foreigners. Dating Brazilians is much harder than dating Americans. Why do you say that? Because I had um, two relationships with American guys and comparing to Brazilian guys. American guys are just more, more like, like romantic. I love it. I love it. Naturally. Nah, but I gotta let it finish. But they don't have the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Just kidding. Just kidding. Like, 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 like a bad person or anything. White boys in America don't have the flavor. That was a low blow, right? But um, hey, I get. I'll tell you like this, right? Some Brazilian women like black guys. They're all a lot that like white guys too. So. It's wild, like any passport bro going out there, passport Joe, whatever you want to call yourself. Yeah, you will. You'll go out there and see the, how these women are. All of them and their smiles and they're happy to be around these guys. Yeah. So. She said the she said white guys don't have any flavors. She's that white guys. I don't even know. I don't even know that. I don't even know how you're supposed to take that as a content creator. But as we know, there's a lot more videos of these foreign women coming out and saying that we like American guys. Black guys. Asian guys, white guys, you have them saying that. Now, I have a question. If American men were so bad, why would a lot of a lot more of these women that are foreign foreign women, why would a lot of these women start to make these videos? Have y'all ever asked yourself that? If American men were so trash, so bad, why would a lot of these Brazilianas, these Colombians, these Dominicans, these Thai women, these Filipinas, Japanese women, why would these women be actively trying to look for a man from Western cultures if we were so bad? If we were as patriot, uh, not patriotic, um, patriot, uh, I don't want to say patriotic, um, if, it was, if we were patriarchal, as patriarchal as y'all say we are, why would these women be actively looking for these men, for these Western men, if they were so patriarchal? Why wouldn't they just give their own men? See, y'all want to sit here and point the finger at American men saying that we're bad or or um, 
UK men or or um, Canadian men say they're so bad, say they're so patriarchal. But when we go overseas, these women are literally throwing themselves at these men. And they're telling you that they want these men. So my question is this. Is it the men that are the problem? Or is it the women of the West that are the problems? Because you can't simply say, oh, these men are trash. Nobody wants them. And then we're seeing videos like this constantly keep getting constantly coming out every day. You can't sit there and say it's these men that are the problem. I get a lot of y'all want to throw the point the finger at the men saying, oh, y'all are trash. Y'all lying. Y'all. I don't want to do anything, but as you heard, the Braziliana said, literally, American guys are more romantic than um, Brazilian guys. So, is it the problem that the men are causing, or is it the problem that the women are causing? By your attitudes, by your impossible standards or by the way that you are carrying yourself or is it all of the above see I want to always point the finger at what men are doing wrong and what men are doing but y'all never want to actually have that conversation about what y'all need to do as women and I find that kind of disrespectful in a sense because you will sit here and blame everything on the men and say that the men are the problem but y'all will never look at the situation and assess the situation and sit there and say, oh, maybe I'm the issue. That's what I'm starting to see a lot more of. Y'all are the issue and y'all don't want to take accountability for the problems that y'all are causing. So y'all will, y'all will be proud to just blame it on somebody else then, instead of taking responsibility for yourselves. I'm not saying the men are perfect. We have things that we have to work on, too. But the problem is you've never had a mirror held up to your face. And now you're seeing what, what we're seeing in a mirror and you don't like it. So you're trying to force the mirror out of your face because you don't want to be held accountable or you don't want that that image that you are literally showing everybody else in the world to be shown right back in your face. Or I should say shoved right back in your face. So you do everything in your power that you can to bash and trash the men that you say that you don't want. And these women are constantly coming out and saying, oh, we'll take these men if you don't want them. Y'all thought y'all was going to win by telling these men to go overseas and thought that they weren't going to find them. But these women, but these men are finding women that are much more feminine much more loving, much more caring about them or for them and are willing to do everything they can to keep these men. See, social media has got your, got your head screwed up to the point where you think you can replace any old man that's cooking and cleaning and paying all the bills or going 50-50 with you. You think that you could easily replace him. But the problem is you can't. There's a lot of good men out there, but those good men are steadily getting their passports and going overseas. So the choice is this. Are you going to continue to blame the men and these men continue to leave? Or are you going to sit back and check yourself and see why these men are leaving? Because there's only two ways that this is going to go. You're going to lose out big time, which you already are. Or you're going to shift. And you're going to change what you're not going to do, which I already know. So I'm just basically talking to air right now. And you're going to continue to fall. Time will tell. In 2020, no, 2030 is coming rapidly. We are literally almost in March. At the time of, at the time of this recording. It is... February 20th, 2024, we literally have 
five years and 10 months and 11 days. In 20, no, in 17 to 16 minutes. So, in that time being, you as women have to figure out what the hell you're going to do. Time is of the essence. Time is ticking. <laughs> and I know there's going to be some passport bro saying, man, they can do what the hell they want to do. It's a wrap. I don't know. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the flip side and heads off to y'all. I'll catch y'all guys later. Bye, guys.